Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum class. Here is your English teacher Ms. Sayyaba Sabir and this is our first lecture of the fifth week. It's our second unit titled as Hello There and our today's topic is Writing and Email. Class, um, firstly we will discuss the objectives of the lecture. In this lecture, students will be able to understand how to write an email. Students can also have an understanding about the difference between formal and informal emails, right? So, after the lecture, students can successfully write any kind of email and students can also have the knowledge about the steps involved in writing the email. So, I think we should start our lecture with a question that what is an email? Email stands for electronic mail. Email is just like a letter, but there is a little difference between an email and a letter. In letter, you write a letter on a page by using a pen and post it to near post office. On the other hand, email is sent digitally. For writing an email, you don't need a page, you don't need a pen, you don't need to go out and post it, but you just need a mobile or a laptop and an email address and internet. You will just type, a, type an email and you will send it to a person whomever you want to send the email. This is email. Okay. Um, uh, here is a sample of email. You can see it. Uh, at the top of the page, the subject is mentioned. Firstly, you will write the subject. At, um, uh, what is the email about here in this example the email is about the internet access in all classrooms after it you will write the salutation in salutation you will greet the person you want to send the email for example here the person is Mr. Patel so here is written dear Mr. Patel right uh, if you are sending uh, the email to your teacher you will write dear teacher or your respected teacher and if you are um, sending an email to your mother or father or a friend you will write dear mother dear father or dear uh, Sarah if she is your friend or dear Ali if he is your friend then after salutation you will write the email you will write the main message that you want to convey to the other person this message can be divided into several paragraphs right then at the end of the email, you will close the email by adding yours sincerely or best regards or best wishes. Then after it, you will write your name. Okay. So uh, from sample, we have learned that uh, there are four steps of email. Firstly, you will write the subject. Uh, that what is the email about? For example, informing a friend about visit. This can be a subject. Then you will write the salutation in which you greet the person you want to convey the message. You are you, you want to send the email. For example, dear mother, dear father, dear friend. Then comes the main body of the email in which you write the information you want to share with the other person. At the end, you will just end the, or close the email by writing your sincerely, your best regard or best wishes. Then you will write your you will write your name. Okay, this is the email. So, it is also important to know the types of emails. There are two types of emails, formal email and informal email. For example, if you are writing the email to your teacher, you will write formal email. But if you are writing the email to your family members or to your friends, you will write informal email. Okay, students, let's suppose two situations. In one situation, you are talking to your friend. And in another situation, you are talking to your teacher. There should be a difference in your style, in your tone, while you are talking to your teacher and you are talking to your friend. You will talk to your teacher with a, with a respected tone, with a respected style and with a formal uh, choice of the words whereas with your friends you will just talk casually 
you use um friendly words you laugh a lot right so there is a difference between um these two situations similarly while writing a formal email uh, that you uh, that you write to your teacher or some higher authority you um you have to respectfully choose the words that what words should be chosen for writing the email to our teacher or some higher authority on the other hand while writing an informal email to your friend or family members you don't need to um choose uh, the you know that much academic words you will just write casually right so this is the difference between formal email and informal email in the next lecture we will talk about informal email so um allah hafiz till then that's it for this lecture